Yaani nataka nikae ni kama mimi ni princess of duchess. Like sasa nani amekuambia uende hivyo wewe mtoto Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia and this is May the Vlogs Be With You video 4. <laughs> Today is uh, Thursday, the 9th of May and um, yeah, I'm going to be shooting a makeup tutorial because it's been a while since I did and I've been sharing some stuff on the Instagram page and guys are like, okay, can we have a longer um, makeup tutorial just explaining what I'm using right now. The last time I did a makeup tutorial, I think was the one for goals, like catch up goals. Da, da, da. I've since bought quite a, a lot more makeup because I surely have a problem. But at the same time, I've kind of downsized my makeup routine because time. Also, I don't wear makeup up that often as much nowadays uh, it's sometimes I'll go a week two weeks without having to put on a full face of makeup just because life <laughs> so this is just an updated uh, makeup routine it's quick quick ish you know for some people quick is relative for some people it's five minutes for some people it's an hour so <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible cool um, so I'm gonna start my skin has done so well over the last few months after the 10 step Korean routine that I really don't even use foundation anymore to be honest I just use powder I use foundation when I have like an event of trying to like go full coverage full glam yani nataka nikae ni kama mimi ni princess of duchess princess of duchess that doesn't even make sense Let's start with, with what I use as a primer. These guys at um, Korean Cosmetics KE sent me this snail gel just to try out. It's a firming and moisture soothing gel and they said it's basically, you can use it for a lot of things. I started putting it on my face before I go to sleep and I noticed that it makes my skin super tight and firm. So I have no makeup right now, no powder, no nothing. But then I was like, so if it's making my skin smooth like that, maybe I can try it out as a primer. And yo, it is quite nice. So what I do, this is after um, I've moisturized and everything, right? And I moisturize also with- I go between the Garnier Even and Matte Ideal Complexion Daily Cream, which I mentioned last year I use as a mattifying primer, but I use this mostly when it's hot and I want it to mattify So because you know when it's hot it, I sweat and stuff, but this is what I've been using when it's hot But recently I've been using the oil control complete vanishing cream because it mixes it, it kind of blends into my skin nicely And it leaves me feeling moisturized when I don't need mattifying so I go between the both of them and use whichever when I feel I need whatever um, effect but then also sunscreen is important and I've been using this Bella Lucy Popo sun cream it's SPF 50 and I get it from Kum King Kind Beauty on Instagram it doesn't even leave a gray cast so if you're looking for sun cream, yeah this is it the Koreans are like the Korean products really are something so what this does, I feel like it moisturizes my face, but at the same time, it tightens it and makes it smooth. So when I put on whatever it is I'm putting, whatever base, it kind of sits nicely, but also still maintains my skin feeling like skin. You know that feeling of putting something on top? This, it's not tacky, but it's... So what will happen is that I'll leave it be for a while while it tightens and my skin has done really well and I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine as well so that you guys can see where I'm at. After the primer, um, use this uh, concealer. It's the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in color. This is color. This is color. Chestnut. Like Morris Chestnut. Hey boo. <laughs> Are you someone? So this is just like for the areas around my mouth to color correct. And it's just, I use it very lightly, huh? Kidogo, kidogo too, under my eyes. And the reason I'm doing this before is because I'm using powder. If I was using a foundation, I'd probably do this after. But because I'm using a powder, it's not at a super coverage. So I want it to get my skin already looking like the same color all over. As you can see, any hyperpigmentation that I had from scarring, pimples and things from last year, the acne, it's gone. 
it's gone guys so this is just the general like you know if your eyes look a, like under your eyes look a little dull around your mouth is a little bit darker this is all i'm doing i'm just color correcting so that ikue same same i do it very loosely very loosely Ooh, it is, huh? then after that mac studio fix powder in nw48 my new you know they introduced new shades new mac shades and in studio fix fluid i'm now nc60 which is like the perfect shade for me. NC60 matched perfectly, so that's the foundation that I would use if I'm using the liquid one. But for the powder, um, NW48 is what I use. It's not like full, full coverage, it's just basically evening out. The skin in the middle of my body is lighter than the edges. So for the longest time, I was really conscious about finding a foundation that is the exact same color of my skin because it would just look so that's the powder nw48 and i've had this since last year it's now may but we komingi there's still quite a bit i think i i'll probably end up using this for an entire year so totally worth it then after that i use darker foundations for contouring my skin i used to use suzy beauty the darkest foundation or um, maybelline fit me powder in a darker shade this is ysl the darkest darkest ebony b90 um, shade in this range and that's what i use for contouring and it's basically just my face also is different complexions i kind of just use this and blend it in so that it's not such a stark difference between my scalp and my face and also it matches the darker areas of my face and then i whatever is left on the brush i bring it here on my nose so contouring basically just like makes your face look slimmer which i like because sometimes if i don't do this i look chubbier which is okay also this i don't mind after this step i come in with a setting spray and the setting spray is basically to make the foundation look skin like and to to sort of let it sit now properly and absorb or just to sit right okay so there's different setting sprays that i've used um mac so this one it has like a shimmer um I don't know if you can see it it's too bright um but this one i use on days when i really really want my face to look glowy then there's this one which is the regular one and then i added the mac pigment you know that's kind of the pigment that i got that is just a powder and then you can use it as eyeshadow or you can mix it in with your lotion so that gold pigment is what i mix in here and then if you don't have this you can always just use rose water and mix it with whatever pigment eyeshadow shadow highlighting powder mix it in because it gives you also like a very very subtle glow rose water is also a really good setting spray so that is the base i think it looks pretty natural the coverage is not too much i don't look too like i have a mask on you know what i mean and then i just usually dab a little bit just to help with the blending i'm not like going for perfection i also just want to look like my skin is great without the word has disappeared without looking oh forgotten the word sorry all right then after that i like to work on my eyes yeah while the skin settles so meanwhile i'll just brush my neck so that it can look like it's the same person <laughs> So for my eyes, I usually start with the, the eyeliner Chinya Macho. I use this Davis pencil. It's not like the darkest. I don't know why I slept on this pencil because I think I found the Maybelline Kajal was so dope and then the Black Radiance one, so dope. Zikaisha and I haven't had time to go to shop. This is also a Kajal by Black Radiance. The only thing is that it smudges. So maybe I'll just put a little bit on uh, here yeah. and then come back with this pencil this davis eye just to kukalisha vizuri and in kama this was the 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 mattress cover alafu blanketi ni hiyo ya ya black radiance and then now this is like the duvet cover on top just so that it can stop it from smudging then i do my brows it's very disorganized i just do what feels like being done next at this point i'm usually watching youtube or listening to a podcast so i'm not at the really focused or paying attention or whatever i see in the mirror as next is what will be next eyebrows i use this is a davis 
eye pencil not the long thin ones in number three i find is the best one it gives the best shade and it's not too dark and it's not too red and i kind of just i follow the brow i don't uh, try to be too precise enough water to become a, it's like i'm sketching and i do these like pencil like strokes i twist them in my house maybe every every six months or so or when they look like they need to easy the key to this i mean so you know this one's a uh, cousins not sisters so i usually go with that they don't have to be super perfect just get like the main shape right then right then once you do just chara chara then we'll come back in with a concealer and i use a concealer that's very close to my skin color so that's the basic shape at the moment it's not perfect but it doesn't have to be then i come with that brush oh here you are then i brush it so that it looks like the to do it is it goes back to looking like the strands so that it doesn't look like i drew on with a crayon then i use a pot concealer this is a mac nc50 um, studio finish concealer did you know these things have spf huh? which is an amazing thing so i'll come in with a flat brush then i come in and now sort of do the shape that i want this i think is the key part don't worry so much about how you you draw focus more on how you now come and finish you don't even need a concealer you can use foundation whatever you have that's the color of your skin it's just to now create that arch i use this concealer also as an eyeshadow primer i mean you see they don't look so different do they oh kind of if they do you can always just come back with the pencil with the chukwa pencil gurudi uchore you just go over the shape just to reinforce the shape that you want but also don't stress people don't notice minute differences in your in your brows guys they'll only notice if one looks like this no not a bit okay davy i'm a buko hi hey then once I do that, as you can see, it's not perfect, but I will grab another brush and sort of now just blend. Then you can still come back with that brush, this like a spoolie brush. I got these from the Mac store. So you can go ask them if maybe you can take one because they use them and then they dispose of them as soon as they use them. So I think you can ask them for one or two. At this point, I come in with my eyeshadow. I've been using this palette lately it's the modern mattes 28 color eyeshadow palette from bh cosmetics and i bought this from makeup flash sale which is an instagram page that kangai the makeup artist started to sort of hook upcoming makeup enthusiasts with with makeup quality makeup yeah at cheap prices like she sells them at cost so i think she knows where to get all the good deals online she brings them in so this i think did i buy this and then she, i think she gifted me this actually because i bought something else i bought another palette from her a colorful one and um think something else and then she gifted me this oh my gosh yes this was a gift but it's all matte and it's beautiful colors you see them so i've found myself using this quite a lot i'll do like a dark color like this over here just sweep it over the eye under the the arch can you see and then same thing other side i'm not super precise akina nancy are mad precise and that's why her makeup looks flawless all the time all the time mimi on the other hand who anakuja tu nafanya tu shua 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 na afuna endelea na maisha yeah so that is step one step two the arch so usually i'll come to this one i don't like my arch looking at mushaino or too bright i just look for a, a skin colored powder just to put it there and also just to blend here today is not like super perfect but when i have time you're not perfection most of my brushes are from bh cosmetics and from real techniques which i either order online on amazon and then ship in using savo store or kangai also has on her page like she sent me a set of these as a gift as well because she's just so sweet i've been gravitating towards this color i don't know if you can see but yeah so that's what i've been putting here so basically when you're contouring your eye just the same way you contour your face any part that you want to recede you put a dark color and then any part that you want to come forward you put a bright color you can actually pretty much change the shape of your eye just by playing around with eyeshadow in this way this is like a a, a pinkish pink peach maybe salmon what can you see colors no 
a move then I blend like that I'm, I'm doing this so that you can see how you can replicate with whatever you have right so this is pretty much the technique I use on a daily I'll also come maybe do a, this really bright pink and just put it down here in the middle part this can be the brightest part just to brighten that up so that it looks like a bright student in high school <laughs> looks kind of weird but we're moving forward then I come in with my mascara I'm using the bad gal bang mascara from benefit cosmetics um, same thing anything that I talk about that you can't find here just order online ship in through Savo store Amazon is usually my first port of call because you'll also find brands like Maybelline sometimes beach cosmetics black radiance that have their products stocking on Amazon so you don't have to go to the specific websites but if you can't find them there things like Akina Fenty is on Anunuako website then you ship to Savo store right that's what you put in as your shipping address which Savo store will give you and then they ship to Kenya and it's so much cheaper yeah also if you just want things very quickly you can check out makeup pages on Instagram there's a lot of Kenyan makeup pages as well that can also just get this stuff to you but it'll cost a little bit more because they have to put a markup so that they can make their profit so mascara is my favorite thing to do and i don't just do one coat so this is the first coat of mascara nope i'm not endorsing that message please ignore so you see the difference like my lashes are pretty invisible at this point because they're not thick right but they're long but you can't see them but then this mascara unakuja nae mascara you know i like mascara when it's two three weeks old like it started to dry up a little bit i try to give the lashes as much attention as i can also if you notice that my nails look really hella shady please forgive me i haven't had time to get me a manicure that's the first coat i like to come in with the liner for over my lash line they're both from sephora so this is a liquid one and then this is one that had a felt pen so i use this felt pen for precision and but i use this formula from the liquid one so i come with my felt pen then i don't draw from all the way in just from the edge how thick you make it will determine what your eye ends up looking like as you can see also i'm not like super precise i've not become an expert at this and the reason i do this at this step is because this usually messes up the mascara then i just do the same thing for the other eyes there's usually something that happens sometimes when i'm doing the nini is like my skin pulls in some way and then the shape becomes different and then usually what I do at this point is like I get mad for a little bit and then I just I'm like ah, whatever they don't really look the same but is it that different if it's longer let me just make this one then a bit longer so that it somewhat looks the same it might not be precise somehow it's not the same it's not so bad can you see how that black radiance has nini has started smudging down here sometimes when this happens i just decide to, to make it a smoky eye so i'll come back and do the second round of mascara and this brush is actually quite nice you know there sometimes you'll put mascara and then the lashes just start to clump up and then they look really heavy the wand is actually quite nice make sure to start like as close to the lash line as possible okay i think i'm happy with that if you feel like the shape of your wing is a bit off you can always come back with the concealer right and then and a flat brush and sort of clean it up yeah then just blend so these are the things like if you make a mistake don't worry like you can always clean up the mistake don't focus too much on being perfect in your application i think it's the cleaning up that now helps with the look are we together we are together what i've been doing actually which is so simple there's this mac eyeshadow 
and it's called extra dimension eyeshadow in stylishly merry so what i do i take a flat brush like this i spray some rose water or setting spray on it i love it because it's kind of holographic so some angles it looks pink others it looks green others it looks orange i don't know so i usually come and just put a little bit when i want to zhuzh up a look and i feel like this transforms any look i'm doing and then i'll just do the same for the other eye and the reason i spray with water or rose water is to reduce the fallout for the last uh mascara i'll remove product from the brush so i'll scrape it off of the wand and just come sort of just to separate and whatever's left on the wand will elongate just a little bit further without adding too much product but yeah a lot of people just come and do one time and then they go and they're like ah this mascara didn't even work most mascaras work well like even maybelline they'll have the different colors and different ones but you can get them all to give you the same effect if you just take some time la lash line i just do once one for the money two for the show three to get the honey here we go okay then to brighten up under my my eyes i use the give me sun mineralized skin finish which is just what people would use as a concealer under the eye i use this powder it just gives me a really nice finish and i like that it's a powder so it also helps to mattify my face highlighter maybelline master strobing stick cut me bring my hand here i don't know how to do this just follow your heart when you're doing this dab 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 and then lightly sort of try to blend it in i don't like it looking like a strip of highlight i like to blend it in because then now you see your skin it looks like you're glowing from within instead of people asking you guy what highlight is that people will just say gosh your skin is glowing are you pregnant pregnant you are not you are just glowing and then i also can again setting spray lips 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 i line with davis and then what lip do i want to do today i line with this davis number three i want to do a dark-ish lip so i haven't used joanna's um lipsticks in a while this is fearless oh look at that color oh wow damn girl it has a matte finish so we just need to let it dry who do you think it's not yeah it's not super glam it's not pow like I kind of still want to look like myself and then there's nights when I want to look like the super glam version of myself so it'll be heavier on the brighter golds and glitter and shimmer and then you know I'll do the same for the lips I'll have more of a highlight and super glowy but for a regular day-to-day -day look this is what I like my day-to-day -day would have just been the matte shadow and a nude lip maybe just gloss on top i'm going for a formal event um so i still don't have to look super glam but i'd like to look nice battery aziz thank you for watching if you have any tips tricks or anything that you'd like me to add on to this i can do so but for now yeah that's a really simple quick updated look thank you bye